Hello, and welcome to another 7.75 video. Uh, today, we are taking a look at a banned Time Vault deck. It's something I sort of just built because I can't afford a Time Vault in the real world at the moment, and I've always kind of wanted to play with one, so why not Medgo? Yay. Uh, so, if you're not aware what Time Vault does, it's the main card in our deck. It enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, you can skip a turn to untap it, or you can untap it in a myriad of other ways. But then you tap it to take an extra turn. So we've got stuff like Voltaire Key, which can untap Time Vault. We've got Mirage Mirror, which will become an untapped copy of Time Vault, and then we can tap it for an extra turn. Next turn, do the same thing. Um, basically, we're just looking to go off with like infinite turns. So, among the things that we do, <clears throat> we have basically a whole bunch of card selection and cantrips because we want to find our bits as quick as possible. And we've got a very light smattering of the unpointed tutors. Basically, whatever we could get. So we've got stuff like Enlightened Tutor is a point. It's probably one of the best tutors in the deck, honestly. It finds Time Vault. It finds untappy Time Vault shenanigans. It finds lots of stuff. If we need mana, it can find Mana Vault. If we need, <clears throat> like, sideboard cards, which I'll get to later, you can find sideboard cards with it. Uh, as far as it goes, so then we've got, like I mentioned, a bunch of card selection and cantrips. We've got Gitaxian Pro, Brainstorm, Ponder, Preordain, all the good things. We've got Reconstruction, which can rebuy one of our artifacts. Uh, we've got Serum Visions. Normally, I wouldn't necessarily play this in a Highlander deck, but we are looking basically to assemble a combo as fast as possible. So anything that lets us drill through our deck is kind of important. Uh, Birds, just a Noble, just for mana fixing and that little bit of acceleration. Mana Vault's one of our points. Uh, it's just to try and get us out out of the gate a bit faster than our opponent. Since he's divining top, card selection, again, drilling through our deck. Uh, anticipate, impulse and strategic planning, same thing, looking to find cards. We've got Dramatic Reversal. This is just like a one-off untap our Time Vault, but also has some other value, like we can untap Mana Vault if we need to like have a big Mana turn the next turn or something like that. Also Grim Monolith. Uh, we've got Kira's Follower. It can untap Time Vault. It can untap other stuff. We've got Grim Monolith. We're running a bunch of untap effects, so we might as well. We've got Teferi's Protection to protect our combo. Or also just keep us alive if our opponent's having a combo turn. Uh, fabricate to find one of our artifacts. Pestamite untaps Time Vault. Tribute Mage finds Time Vault. Trinket Mage finds Voltaic Key. Vizier untaps Time Vault, either as a one-off at instant speed or as a creature on the battlefield. Dovin, sort of just looking to slow our opponent down a little. Same with Teferi, we're looking to stop them from interacting with us. Because once we go off, if they can't do anything other than sorcery speed, they just can't touch us. Uh, Kira untaps Time Vault. It's limited use, unlike most of the other ways to do it, but again, like, oh no, I can only take seven extra turns. Life must be hard. Uh, Derevi, it attacks, it untaps Time Vault when it enters, it's, yeah, just good. Mirage Mirror, as I've mentioned, you can copy Time Vault, go off with Time Vault. Uh, Khan is... I don't, I'm, I'm not 100% certain about Khan. Mostly he's there to find some sideboard cards, like if we need to, but also provide us just a way to sort of stop our opponent if they're doing dumb stuff with artifacts. Uh, Tamio can rebuy any of our cards, can help us find cards, can protect our pieces. Tezzeret untaps Time Vault, finds Time Vault. It's amazing. Uh, Bring Delight finds Time Vault. Reshape, Time Vault find. Where? Time Vault find. Wallgate, Time Vault find. So yeah, that's the deck. Uh, pretty much, yeah, as I mentioned, we're just looking to combo off. All right, now let's... <clears throat> All right, let's get the cards ready to go. And let's bash some face. Okay. Challenge sent. 
Okay, let's see how this goes. Ah. Uh, alrighty. Now, hopefully, hopefully our opponent's not on something that's really, really horrible for us. Maybe, if we're lucky. <clears throat> Alright. That's an awful lot of lands and an awful lot of mana, and I think I'm going to mulligan this away. Because while it's like, yeah, if we draw anything, it'll be great... I don't necessarily like a hand <laughs> where you have to draw something to be good. If there was like any sort of card selection spells, I would probably keep this, but for now, no. Alright, what have we got? This, on the other hand, card selection. Great. We're gonna keep this. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, we're probably... Mm, we don't know what our opponent's doing. So I think we're just gonna put Dramatic Reversal on the bottom. Looks like our opponent kept seven, so that sucks. Why can't they have terrible luck? Oh, good old turn one scolding Tom. No hand attack. I mean, if there's hand attack, I don't think I care too much at this point anyway. But still, no hand attack. No, it's probably Grixis. Oh, no, it's Sultai. Okay, sweet. So this is good. We know we're against a fair deck. Uh, our opponent has a, oh, oh, ho, ho, oh, ho, ho. okay, you're on the bottom, <clears throat> you're on the top. Uh, one of the decks that our opponent plays is Sultai Midrange, so they've just got a very slight smattering of control, mostly it's just creatures and removal though, so if we can get Dovin down, that's pretty good for protecting us on our turn. Being able to blank something like a Notion Thief or Thief of Sanity with Dovin's Minus seems pretty useful in this matchup. Right. Oh, we draw Tez next turn. We're going to anticipate. <clears throat> I'm feeling pretty good about where we are at the moment. Having said that, this could all just blow up horribly in my face. Well, I'm glad they don't get my Tesseract. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. So, I think we're just going to go with Tropical. And pass the turn. I think... Uh, we're best to anticipate when they attack. Well, it doesn't change the fact that they're getting a random card. Um, one of them into your hand. Okay. So I think here I actually just want to take the Noble Hierarch. Uh, we don't have another artifact to sacrifice to reshape. And we kind of just want to get to 5 mana. So hopefully they don't hit our time vault. If they do, we're kind of stuffed. Okay, what'd they get? What'd they get? What'd they get? <clears throat> Bring the light. Oh, they can even cast that. That would have been good for us. Okay, uh... Oh, okay. So we're just gonna go put Noble Hierarch down. Our opponent's <clears throat> representing a bit of damage next turn. Uh, we are gonna get hit by this Night Vale Spectre, but I think it's probably better just to go full Tazeret to get the Time Vault. Uh, purely because once we have it... <clears throat> then we have a lot of draws that cannot untap it. Whereas as long as it's in our deck, it's in quite a lot of danger. Ah, ah, I think we might just be dead. 
I'm taking five here. Thirteen. They get another one of our cards. Okay. <clears throat> this is good for us, actually. We can fabricate for Voltaic Key, play Voltaic Key. Next turn, Tezzeret, find Time Vault. Uh, sadly, we won't have hmm, the mana to do it then that turn. Ah, uh, well, whatever. We'll see how it goes. No, our opponent knows we're playing Time Vault. I mean, I don't think it's a particular surprise, really. The moment you see for zero of Tumbling Sands, you're like, all right, well, what's my opponent doing? <laughs> all right. So they have... Ugh. Take six here? All right. Well, unless they cast another creature, this isn't lethal next turn. Ah. Uh, if they do cast another creature, we might just be screwed. Uh, Elves of Deep Shadow. And are you going to get Delirium? No. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna minus two, find time vault. Again, sucks that we can't go off this turn, but here we are. <clears throat> I'm assuming they're gonna kill Tezzeret. Uh, unless they cast an instant here, they can't kill me. Please don't cast an instant. No! Alright. Now let's see if they kill. Ezra. If they do, that's fine. Oh. Sweet. Looks like I'm surviving in another turn. I feel like it'd be better to leave Deathrite Shaman back and just eat Abrupt Decay to kill me, but, you know, <clears throat> to each their own. Our opponent's misplays is our benefits and not too cut up about it. All right. <clears throat> so, assuming nothing terrible happens, we can take start taking infinite turns right here, right now. By which I mean in our main phase as we cast Reconstruction to return Time Vault, cast Time Vault on tap Time Vault, tap Time Vault. Now at that point our opponent probably just concedes. On cast. <clears throat> No! Okay, we're screwed. Everything is butts. Butts and fire. Ah. Alright, let's scoop it up. So. We don't want you. We do want... Hmm. Probably next place, Ram? Just to try and stabilize against the aggro a bit. We want Leyline because there's going to be discard. Uh, hmm. Probably go down Dovin. I'm going to bring in Solstress Spyglass as well. 
and then probably pitch dramatic reversal. All right, this it gives us a little bit of protection from what our opponent's doing. Not a lot, but you know. <clears throat> okay, I would like to play. Thank you for asking. Uh, oh, this is super sketchy, but also potentially real good. So I'm. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We're going to Gataxian probe our opponent down one, hope for it untapped. Green sauce. Not an untapped green sauce. All right, everything is bots. All right, Assassin's Trophy and Abrupt Decay. There's a, a lot of hate to get through here. <clears throat> All right, so they played Flooded Strand. We should remove that. They're probably going to Sorcerer Spyglass name Time Vault, uh, but they do get to see our hand first. Just going to put a stop on our upkeep so we can sense those Divining Top before we draw. Uh, if our opponent's not very clever, they may just try and destroy it now. No offense to our opponent if they ever watch this. I'm sure you're... Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Everything is... Mm, I didn't even notice that. I'm good at this game. Okay. We're just gonna get time, uh, top out of the way, basically. <clears throat> All right, what is our opponent name? And say he's defining top. Okay. So currently our opponent knows one card in our hand, which is Sensei's Divining Top. <clears throat> we know four of six of theirs, and honestly what we do know is not good for us. Alright, so there's nothing really they can name with Sorcerer Spyglass from our hand, so I'm assuming they're just going to go with Time, uh, time Vault. Okay. What's the plan? Three amount to fairy, bounce sorcerer, spyglass. Not a terrible plan. Not a great plan. Okay. I think we're just going to take Nick's Fleece Ram and try and buy us some time. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're looking for a land with this anticipate. Okay, so we've got a bit of a blocker, like a hell of a blocker, I should say. Oh, we're going to be gaining a life every turn. That's not nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So we don't know what our turn. So I just asked our opponent if it's time vault, just let me know because at this point we're just screwed. Uh, so <laughs> yay, that was a terrible showing for the deck. Ugh. Uh, yay, mid range controly thing. Not a good matchup for. Huh. Okay. And our opponent has been kind enough to just verify with us that it's time vault. So we're we're just gonna scoop this up. Is yeah, we we're not winning at this point. Oh, that's a bit rough. Okay, however, what we're going to do, we're going to try and run it back one more time, because I would like to get in a decent game with this deck. Oh, there we go. Decent game. Uh, I do think the deck's actually fine. I don't think it's exceptional. I think it particularly suffers against, like, any sort of green-black combination. Just there's so much disruption and removal. Um, all right. That uh, sweet, we're gonna keep this hand. <clears throat> we can probe to find out what's happening. Uh, we can then decide based off the probe whether we're gonna noble hierarch or ponder. Uh, the dream would be we just like get time vault and then go like land, mana vault, for take key time vault, pass, hope our opponent doesn't have removal spell. Maybe they do, or that would be bad and we actually just hold off. Uh. Okay, so let's see what's happening. We have, oh yeah, forgot about the upkeep stop. There we go, just click right through our main face. <laughs> All right. I guess I just got mildly flustered and decided for me what I'm going to do. I'm casting Ponder because I played a Tundra, which means I can't play Hierarch. Alright. Okay. So I'm pretty okay with their hand. It's kind of scary, but it doesn't really interact with us. So... Come on. Ah, you're not a time vault. Do I want any of these? Ah, any order. Shuffle. Strategic planning. All right, sweet. <clears throat> yeah, just between stuff like Abrupt Decay, Assassin's Trophy, Inquisition, Duress, Thoughtseize, there is just a lot of stuff to get through in blue, uh, black, green. Add blue to the mix and it just becomes kind of miserable because I know our opponent has a smattering of counter spells as well. And we're sort of looking to just like push through an opponent not interacting. Which maybe sounds a bit dumb, but works surprisingly well a lot of the time. Uh, yeah, as long as your opponent's not running, you know, like interaction colors. The jerk. All right, what do we want to do? Uh, I think here we're probably gonna find a green source for the Noble Hierarch. And we're probably just going to drop the Mana Vault. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that thing. Huh. Okay. I'm... Hmm. I don't know why I don't... Wait, do I even have... Uh, hang on a second. Nope, I have like no removal in this deck at all. Sweet. No to self, fixed deck. Oh. Uh, I'm assuming our opponent's gonna... Alright, not a vault. No, my noble. I even knew about that. So new theory, new theory. I'm just bad. There's a lot of evidence for it. Oh well, okay. Uh, we're going to Tap you, tap you, strategic planning. Doing a whole bunch of setup this turn. Let's take bring to light. We're gonna impulse. Take, hmm, probably just Vizier because it cycles. Play this Marsh Flats. Find something that taps for blue, ideally. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna cycle to untap Mana Vault. Ah, uh, I guess <laughs> that mana vault again for Sensei's Divining Tom. <clears throat> Secretly, all along, we were a storm deck. Voltaiki. Untap mana vault. Or, hmm. No, don't untap mana vault. <clears throat> okay. So... We want Fabricate. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. The opponent's probably going to take the Sensei's Divining Top. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. We can fabricate next turn to find Time Vault. Uh, Yeah. He's not involved. Okay.
Ooh, this is interesting. So, hmm. We can tether it here, untap key and mana vault. Our opponent pretty much has to kill Tezzeret. And the next time we get to have like a million different ways we can find Time Vault. The biggest danger is our opponent just nick, like nicks us off, nicks it off us with Thief of Sanity. I'm assuming they're going to want to kill Tezzeret, because Tezzeret is very scared. No. Wow, interesting. I suppose they've figured out that they're out his Nick Time Vault. Come on. Better lucky than good. Okay. Our opponent's tapped out. Uh, we're in a very good position. Unless our opponent actually has the time vault, which they could have just been slow rolling. We pretty much win here. And we get to find out in a variety of different ways if they have it or not. So we're going to minus two first off. Get time bomb. Yeah. Yay. Uh, once again, bring in Leyline. Probably bring in... Uh, let's just go Leyline this time. Go down Khan. That was kind of ridiculous in the draws department, but I think that was also quite a good showing. Uh, we have a lot of tutor effects, so the fact that we could just, you know, redundant, we had three different ways to find Time Vault, basically. And that's kind of huge. We also had, like, the ability to cast um, Bring Delight, to find reconstruction to return time vault if they like did something to it. So that's a impressive amount of redundancy right there. As far as win conditions go, we had Tezzeret on the field. We could just play out a couple of artifacts and then eventually tick up and minus five to kill our opponent. All right, what have we got? Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. Starting with Leyline seems strong. Well, I do only have the one land and it's not a blue one. I... Uh, we have the Grim Monolith, so I think that's probably enough to convince me to keep. All right, sweet, good taxi probe. Come on, blue thing. Salt Eye Charm. Okay, destroys not a factor enchantment. Master Pulse. Okay, the so Salt Eye Charm's an instant. Our opponent's hoping to draw lands, which is why they didn't crack the Scalding Ton. Just, you know, that, that very, very many skill 
edge that it gives you. <clears throat> That's one of the things I think people are a little bit too ingrained in. Oh, I'm just going to crack this fetch land on the end of your turn. Sometimes it's worth it just to leave it around as a shuffle effect. Uh, if you don't like need the land right away, why do it? All right. So things are starting to look a little bit sketchy. But we do have access to quite a lot of mana over the coming turns with Grim Monolith and Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Our opponent's just making fun of us for the turn two Noble Hierarch. <laughs> Again. Alright. This they've just got so much disruption. Maelstrom pulses the hierarch. We go to sixteen. Next turn, presumably they Rex Sage the ley line. And I think if we don't get a land here, we're probably just gonna all in. Oh no, we got a land. Sweet, we're still in it. We're barely in it. But we're still in it. Everything's good. Alright. So we want a... Probably Tropical Island. And we're just going to cast this Grim Monolith. <sighs> All right, destroying Grim Monolith or Leyline? Let's find out. Leyline, okay. So. I'm assuming our opponent takes Tribute Mage here, purely because it can find Time Vault. Uh, I think it's the correct choice. But let's see what they do. Yep. Next turn, we have the risk of if we draw a land, we could do Tribute Mage, Trinket Mage, find both pieces. So we're still after lands. That's that's not a land, Jack. Okay. We can bring to light. Have I just been reading this card wrong this entire time? Apparently I have. Whoops. All right, whatever, let's do it. What's the worst could happen? Blue, green, bring to light for two colors. And... I think we're probably just going to take the Curious Follower here. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that our opponent hasn't, like, destroyed our Grim Monolith yet. We know the two cards in the hand. Tifa Sanity, Salt Eye Charm. I'd assume Salt Eye Charm is going to kill Grim Monolith this turn. Okay. What can we do? 
we can Gravy untap Grim Monolith. Cures follower untap. Hmm. Okay, so blue, 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 one. No, that's not good enough. All right, so this time we're just sort of doing set on. So blue, green, white, Jarevi. And we're just gonna untap Grim Monolith here. And then, Probably going to... Hmm. So, one... Okay, yep. So, that. And that. Cycle for zero tumbling sands. Untap tropical island. Draw a card. And then drink a mage. I think at this point we're just going for redundancy, so we're probably just gonna find Voltaic Key. Um Yeah. And then pause. So, our opponent has Salt Eye Charm, Thief of Sanity, and One Unknown. Alright, that's not scary. So they're holding the Salt Eye Charm basically until Time Vault comes out. However, what I don't think they're counting on. Uh, we can't tap that off, can we? Let's see what our opponent does. I'm assuming they're going to kill the Trinket Mage, but if they're not thinking, they'll let it through, we can tap down their lands, and then probably just win this turn. Sadly, doesn't look like that's going to happen. All right. So we're holding up instant speed win the game pretty much. Uh, if our opponent was to. Oh. Blue, black, green. Ah, nuts. Okay, we win. We're gonna cast word invention. We're gonna find time vault. We're gonna untap time vault. Yeah, and there's the game. Uh, so I think that was a better showing of the deck. I actually managed to do stuff. Um, yeah. So this is ban time vault. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I will once again put a link in the description below, uh, again with more information about Australian Highlander. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, or if you didn't enjoy the video, leave some feedback, please. I'm, if you can't tell, I'm very new at this still, and I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, even if it's just, hey dude, your voice is dumb. That's cool. 
leave that. It's something. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, I also stream on Twitch. That should be in the description. Yeah. Uh, cool. Have a lovely day, everyone.